So the question is, how do I fit the electing grace of God into the call of the gospel? By election, of course, we are referring to the fact that God in his sovereign grace has chosen a certain number of people from mankind to be saved by Jesus Christ. These elect and these only will be saved. And yet at the same time, we proclaim the gospel to all men without distinction. John 6, 37, Him that cometh to me, our Lord says, I will in no wise cast out. Acts 2, 21, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So how then do I reconcile the fact that only some men are saved and yet I proclaim the gospel to all men. Maybe at a personal level you're asking the question, how do I know that I am elect? And if I am not elect, then what's the point in trying? I'm not going to be saved anyway. So how do I fit the electing grace of God into the call of the gospel? Well, the short answer to the question is that you, you don't fit the electing grace of of God into the gospel call in the sense that it's already there. In other words, if there was no election, there would be no gospel, and then there would be no gospel call. Election functions both as the source of the gospel, and it is also what gives the gospel its shape or its character. So it functions as the source of the gospel. John Murray said that God's sovereign election is the one source of the only salvation that there is for lost men. In other words, it's because of election that God sent forth his Son into the world. It's because of election that Christ died. It's because of election that he rose again and ascended to heaven, that he's coming again at the last day, and that he will bring his resurrected people to everlasting glory. It is the source of the gospel. But it's also what gives the gospel its shape or its character. And this functions as a great encouragement to poor sinners. A convicted sinner might come and say, but I've sinned so much and so greatly, God would never love me. Election, on the other hand, is telling that person about the shape and the character of the gospel and the character and shape, if you will, of God's love in the gospel, that it is love for sinners, that it is love for the lost, that it is love for the hell deserving, that it is love that is not based upon how great or small your sins are, but rather upon his free and sovereign grace. And so in the gospel... The gospel does not proclaim to sinners, to to elect sinners to come to Christ to find rest, but it proclaims this gospel to heavy laden and burdened sinners, burdened with a sense of their sin. So the question is not, am I elect, but am I a sinner? And if I am a sinner, then Christ is a saviour for sinners. And so as my, my late pastor once said, there is nothing in the decree of God. There is nothing in the doctrine of election. There is nothing in all the twistedness of your own coming to Christ that takes away from this truth, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.